Hi everyone, today we're gonna to be testing out some of the best protein powders on the market and why they might be good options for you if you have type 2 diabetes. My name is Diana and I'm a registered dietitian and a certified diabetes care and education specialist. And I'm on a mission to help you reverse insulin resistance and place your type 2 diabetes into remission for good. So if that sounds good to you, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel. Before we go into our review of the best protein powders, let's first take a step back and understand what exactly protein is and why it's so important. Protein is one of the three main macronutrients. The other two are carbohydrates and fat. Protein plays a crucial role in the function, structure, and regulation of virtually every cell in the body. Protein is made up of amino acids, which are often referred to as the building blocks of life. There are 20 different amino acids, and nine of them are essential, meaning our body can't make them on its own, and we must obtain them from the food that we eat. We often think about protein, and we automatically think about its role in building muscle, but it plays so many more important roles and functions in the body. It's involved in hormone regulation, immune function, tissue repair, the formation of enzymes and antibodies, and the list goes on. So how much protein should we be eating? So the recommended amount of protein intake is the same for people with diabetes as it is for those who do not have diabetes. 10 to 35% of our calories should be coming from protein. This means if you follow a 2000 calorie diet, you should be eating anywhere between 50 to 170 grams of protein a day. But of course, this varies depending on your age, your physical activity level, and other personal needs. Another common way to figure out your protein needs is to multiply your body in kilograms by a factor of 0.8. For example, if you weigh 150 pounds, to figure out your body weight in kilograms, you would just divide that by 2.2. So 150 divided by 2.2 comes out to around 68. Then you would take this number and multiply it by your baseline of 0.8. So this comes out to around 54.5 grams of protein per day. However, again, based off your activity level, your age or other personal needs, you can increase this factor. So you can start at 0.8 as your baseline, but then you can go up to one, 1.2, 1 1.3, depending on what your goals are. So nowadays, it feels like we're always on the go. We have very busy schedules and sometimes it can be difficult to reach our protein goals. And that's where protein powders come in. They can be a great supplement to our meals. One scoop of protein powder typically contains around 20 grams of protein and can be easily added to things like smoothies, oats, and yogurt. We do recommend first focusing on whole food sources of protein so you can reap all the great nutritional benefits from food. However, if you are finding it hard to meet your protein goals, protein powders can be a great complement to your diet. Searching for protein powders on the market can be very overwhelming since there's literally thousands of them. So we're going to talk about ways to make it easier for you to choose and some of our favorite ones, especially if you have type 2 diabetes. As a general rule, we do recommend choosing plant-based options over animal-based ones. We also recommend choosing ones that are low in saturated fat and have no added sugar. We do recommend natural sweeteners over artificial ones and the fewer artificial flavors and other additives, the better. To avoid you having to try and buy tons of different protein powders, we did the work for you. We're gonna share our top five protein powders based on key ingredients and value. And if you're interested in trying any of these for yourself, we've linked all of them below. So the winner for the category of best ingredients for a protein powder is gonna be complement protein powder. Their protein powder literally just has five ingredients. Almonds, chia seeds, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, and yellow peas. No artificial or natural sweeteners. They have an unflavored version and also a chocolate version. Complement also triple tests every single batch to ensure purity, potency, and transparency. And they publish those third-party test results on their website for you to check out. So if you're looking for a protein powder with very simple ingredients, then definitely check out Complement Protein Powder. So coming in at number one for best tasting protein powder is gonna be Truvani. So similar to Complement, Truvani only has a few ingredients as well. Its protein sources come from pea, chia seeds, and pumpkin seeds, and it's sweetened with monk fruit extract. It has a pleasing sweetness with no aftertaste, but at 15 cents per gram of protein, it is a little bit on the expensive side. They do also come in a wide variety of flavors, including vanilla, banana cinnamon, matcha, chocolate peanut butter, and more. Okay, so the winner for best bang for your buck is gonna be Orgain Protein Powder. At just 0.05 cents per gram of protein, it is definitely among the cheaper protein options available. Orgain has three different sources of protein. It does contain sunflower oil, and it's sweetened with erythritol and monk fruit extract, both of which are safe for people with diabetes as they don't affect blood sugar levels. They also come in different versatile flavors, including chocolate, vanilla, and iced coffee, 
all of which would make great additions to your smoothies or even your coffee in the morning. So the winner for unique formulation is going to go to Garden of Life protein powder. It does contain several ingredients and many sources of protein. It's sweetened with stevia and erythritol and has a very nice taste. And it's also very reasonably priced at 0.09 cents per gram of protein. What sets it apart from other proteins on the market is that it does include live probiotics and enzymes. They also sell single serving packets, which might be a great option if you find yourself on the go a lot. And lastly, our next winner is going to be Sun Warrior protein powder. Sun Warrior has several sources of protein and they do have some gums in them for product enhancement. Some of their blends even include goji berries, which are packed with antioxidants and vitamins. Their flavored protein powders are sweetened with stevia, but if that's not your thing, they also have unflavored options as well. That being said, they are on the more expensive side on our list at 18 cents per gram of protein. Nevertheless, it is very tasty and it's a healthful plant-based protein option. So there you have it. Those are our top five protein powder recommendations if you have type 2 diabetes. They have very little or no saturated fat at all. They have no added sugars and are low in carbohydrates. All of these great protein powder recommendations are linked below in the comment section. Have you tried any of these protein powders? Let us know what you think by commenting below. All right, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next video.